Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So hari ni saya nak membincangkan satu topik dalam STM32F103 That is RCC Clock Configurations uh, So how to configure the RCC Clock in STM32F103 So uh, why we need to configure the RCC Clock eh? So in uh, STM32 microcontroller uh, So one technique eh, to, to, to lowering the current draw is uh, to to uh, to switch on or switch off the peripheral by removing access to the master clock okay so this clock are con is controlled by the rcc reset and clock control group of register so since there are more than 32 on chip peripherals so there are actually two register used to switch on the clock so that we call the asp asp1 enable register and ASP2 enable register so this for hardware clock and then APB, APB1 enable register and APB2 enable register this for peripheral clock so the clock is controlled by set or re reset a pin in this, re in this register so to turn the system on so you set a pin in the enable register and to, to turn the same peripheral off you reset the pin in the cor corresponding register Okay, this is a, a reference manual for STM32F103. So when uh, we do the embedded uh, programming, especially in the assembly or in a bare metal methods and C programming, so we always need to refer to the reference manuals and to know the architecture, which parts we use and the peripheral, the register, the di uh, diagram and so on. So for STM32 architecture, we can refer to the STM32-103 reference manual. So I will show you. So these are the reference manual for STM32-103. Okay, so these are reference manual for F101, 102, 103 and 105. Okay, and then you go to the, uh, click the uh, chapter 3. So this is a system architecture for STM32. The system system architecture ni akan beri gambaran how the device is connected using the pass and APB2, APB1. For example, the ADC1 and GPIO A, GPIO B, C is using the APB2 pass. And so you can. Uh, is connected to RCC using the APB2 pass. So when you want to configure the clock, so you need to use the APB2 enable register. And for the timer, timer 2, 3 and 4 is connected to the RCC using the APB1. So so when you want to uh, on the, the clock for timer, for example, you need to use the APB1 register. Okay. okay, this is a, a, a system architecture for STM32. So for APB1 enable register, same, you can uh, access this uh, register using the uh, ST, uh, reference manuals. So APB1, uh, RCC APB1 enable register, both is a 32-bit register. Right? So, uh, Setiap bit tu ada function dia. For example, for bit 0, time. Timer 2, bit 1, timer 3, bit 2, timer 4, bit 3, timer 5. For RCC, APB tu, uh, bit 2 is GPIO A, GPIO B, bit 3, GPIO C, bit 4, GPIO D, bit 5. And this is a 14 for you sub 1. And sub 1 is use the RCC APB tu kan. But the others is you set 2, 3 and 4, 5 is used the APB1. Only you set 1 in APB2 register. Okay, mari uh, kita tengok example eh. How to write the coding. So write a syntax coding to enable the GPIOA and GPIOC clock. Okay, based on the RCC APB2 enable register. Okay, uh, GPIOA and C in pin 2 and pin 4 and bit 2 and bit 4 so you need to set this bit bit 2 and 
bit 4 to enable the GPIOA and GPIOC clock. Okay, in binary, it becomes 0001, 0001, and then it's 0, 1, 0, 0. Or in hex, is equal to 1, 4, 0, x, 1, 4. So we can write the answer in 32 bit, 0, x, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 4, or in 8 bit, 0, x, 1, 4. Okay, boots is uh, uh, okay. Eh? Okay, for this example, write a syntax to enable USAT1, GPIOA, and GPIOB clock. Okay, contohnya ada tiga, eh? ada B, A, and USAT1. So, both tiga-tiga uh, ni, GPIOA, B, and C, ada letak pada G, uh, RCC, A, P, B2, enable register. Okay, so GPIOA, B2, uh, bit 3 GPIOB and bit 14 for USAT 1. So we com convert this to hexa is 1100. Okay. So this bit 0000 and 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 bit 5 to uh, bit 4 to bit 7 and then bit 8 to bit uh, 11 and eh, 0000, 000, 000 and then bit uh, 14 is 1. So this 14 is 1. So bit, uh, 0 1 0 Zero. So convert to hexa it's become four zero zero. This is not one C. This is four zero zero C. And four zero 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 C. Sample apa selain ini? Four zero zero C. Okay. So so the answer is four. 0, 0, C. Okay, for question number 3. Eh? So, example 3. So, kita nak enable kan? USAT 2, GPIOA, GPIOB, GPIOC. So, daripada oh, tadi, USAT 2, dia terletak pada enable APB 1 enable register. So, dia, this is not uh, APB 2, APB 1, pin number 17 pin number 17 okay so in binary it become 0 0 1 0 right 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 and the other bit is uh, 0 so in hex become 0 x 2 0 0 0 0 so this is a for USAT 2 only for US, uh, DPIOA DPIOB DPIOC using the APB to enable register okay. so uh, in binary it become 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. so kita dapat 0x 0, 0, 1c ataupun kita boleh tulis 1c saja. ok so ada dua yang kita syntax yang perlu ada dekat sini first is APB to enable register and then second is APB1 enable register untuk USAT Okay, kita tak boleh write satu syntax saja. Eh? Dua, dua syntax kat sini. Because, dua, kita melibatkan dua register di sini. Okay. Okay, contoh. Ini dia bagi gambar rajah. Eh? This is a figure. From this figure, so you need enable all the peripherals involved in this circuit. Eh? In this circuit. So, this is a USAT. Use the USAT 1. Eh? So, kita ada USAT 1 and then kita ada port A. And a switch is connected to port A. Port A. So, kita dapat sini. So, kita ada port A. And then juga USAT 1. So, in binary, kita 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then, at the end, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, kita tukar pada hex. Dapat 0, x, 4, 0, 0, 4. Okay, dalam contoh ni. Kalau katakan uh, change this uh, switch to port B, eh, port B, kita still need to uh, still need to uh, apa configure port A because USAT is using the port A. So bila kita guna USAT atau UART ni ataupun ADC sebagainya, kita perlu configure clock untuk uh, peripheral tu dan juga port yang terlibat peripheral tu kan. 
Ha, kata kita tak ada tak ada switch ini eh. Kita tetap kena uh, set set kan clock untuk port A. Kan kata switch di uh, disambung ke port port B. So dekat sini kita kena ada port A dengan port B. Dua ni mesti ada kan. Ha, so bila kita guna ADC pun sama kan kalau ADC tu pada port tu port tu pun sendiri kena kita on kan RCC dia. Okay that's all for uh, RCC clock configuration. Uh, kita sambung dengan uh, kelas yang seterusnya untuk GPIO configuration. Eh? Okay, thank you.